Hello again, second grade. It is so good to see you having fun. Think about this yard stick from our lesson yesterday. And today we're gonna to be looking at another tool. Woohoo! Let's take a look at our learning target and then we're gonna jump right into some fun. I can use a measuring tool to measure length. Yes, my loves, this is the same learning target from yesterday, but we wanna make sure that we review and think about another measuring tool. Today's measuring tool will be a meter stick. And our meter stick, yes, you've heard that word before, in centimeter. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. When we are measuring the length of something, we're asking ourselves, how long is it? Our measuring tool is what are we using to make it easier to measure it, okay? Remember, a tool helps us do something. It makes things easier. A screwdriver, it makes it a lot easier to screw in a screw. A, a, a clock helps us tell time, okay? Um, even, Sometimes if I have a pair of shoes that are hard to put on, you might use a shoehorn tool to put it on just right. They're not as popular anymore as they used to be. Um, but it's a tool nonetheless. Tools help us do things that are tricky. Well, yesterday we learned about a ruler, which is a tool that helps us measure um, a foot, which is 12, the same as 12 inches and 30 centimeters. We learned that a yard is actually, this is our yard stick we measured yesterday. Our yard stick is actually three feet in there, 36 inches and 90 centimeters. For our yard stick, it's more important to think about our inches and our feet than our centimeters. Our centimeters actually are much handier dandy than on a meter stick. Now. You might say, a meter stick, how's that different than a yard stick? Well, let me tell you. A yard stick is measuring yards. Yards are measured in feet and inches. A meter stick measures centimeters. Now it has some inches on there too, but it measures centimeters. And can I tell you something very cool? What do we know about cents? We're finishing up, um, working on time. We've talked about a lot of cents. How many cents go in one dollar? Yeah, 100 cents go in one dollar. So if we're thinking about the word centimeter, how many centimeters do you think are gonna go into the meter? Yes, this little part of that word cent means 100. A century is 100 years. A centimeter is that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. Crazy, right? I know. So when we think about a meter stick, we're gonna have 100 centimeters inside of that meter. Amazing, right? So when we think about that, our meter stick is a little different because we know that when that yard stick, there's only 10 or 90, we squeeze in 91 on that meter stick, but the, or in, the, in that yard stick, didn't we? But it's a little bit shorter, gonna be just a little bit shorter than a meter stick. Pretty great, right? Okay, so that meter stick, um, one meter is the same as 100 centimeters. And our meter is another way to measure something. And it is a standard unit of measure. It's metric, but it is standard. Anybody knows what a meter is in a centimeter? If I say this is centimeters long or this is a meter long, we know what that looks like. So we're gonna do some measuring in our centimeters today using our meter stick and our ruler. Now, I have a ribbon. 
Now, can I ask you, this ribbon, how am I going to measure this ribbon? Can I measure it all wadded up like this? Well, why not? I'm measuring its length, aren't I? So can I measure, I can't measure it like this. I can't measure it folded up. I have to measure it its length, so I've got to really stretch it out. <sighs> Friends, this is going to be tricky. Well, just like we were measuring our chart paper yesterday, we're going to try to measure this doohickey today using my ruler. Now today, I'm going to be using my centimeter side of my ruler. Same thing I did yesterday. I'm going to start at my zero. Everybody see where I'm starting at my zero? And I'm going to end at my 30, okay? Now, that means that this little guy right here, my little, my little thumb is, that's gonna go back to the zero because I gotta start my next line of, or my next chunk. Okay, and there's my next 30 centimeters. Now I've gotta stop my 30 because otherwise I'll be off. And then I've got my next, or my last chunk. And you can see my last chunk of my ribbon. And I'm doing this and it looks really awkward. It is very awkward, my friends. Why do you think it's so awkward and hard? There it is, I'm at 30. So, oh gosh, when I measured this, hold on, let me tape it up here and see if that makes it easier to see. When we measured this and we started it, right here and we measured it all the way across i'll tape it over here because it's longer than my chart paper isn't it friends okay when i measured it and i measured this little tail part too it was my ribbon equal it took me three chunks didn't it three ruler lengths My centimeters, that was three groups of 30. What equation could I write to match that? If it's three ruler lengths, which is 30 chunks each, right? 30 centimeters. Then what equation could I write to match that work? Okay, so if I'm gonna add it together, just like I did with my other work yesterday, 20 or 12 plus 12 plus one, then this one I'm gonna do 30 plus 30 plus 30, right, because it had I had to go three times. This is the first ruler length, second ruler length, third ruler length. And those ruler lengths were 30 centimeters each time. So then how many centimeters long is my ruler? Three plus three is six. Six, seven, eight, nine. So nine tens and zero ones. So my ribbon is 90 centimeters long or three ruler lengths long. Could there be an easier way I could measure this? What would my easier way be? I was thinking that same thing. Shall we try my meter stick? All right, let's give it a shot. Got my meter stick and I'm going to start it at the zero and I am going to start it right here at my zero centimeters. And I'm gonna stretch it down. And there it is at the 90. Started at my zero stretched it out and it landed at the 90 centimeters. See if I can pull that up for you guys to see. There's my 90. Okay, so which one was more efficient? Uh 
on my meter stick. One stick or three rulers? What do you think? My one stick's gonna be a lot easier to measure. Now, can I show you something else? This guy is even better. Remember I told you yesterday that this measuring tape is a great tool. And yesterday we looked at the inches side. Guess what? It also has a centimeter side. So I can start my centimeters, start my little ribbon on my zero centimeters. And I'm actually gonna flip it so that I can see it on that side. And I'm gonna stretch it out. Stretch, 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 stretch. And, ta-da, oops. Oops, a daisy, sorry. Ninety centimeters. I just had to stretch it out along my measuring tape and along my ribbon. You can see where it started right there at the zero. Awesome, right? I'll tell you, the measuring tape is the bomb baby. Okay. So when we're measuring these this ribbon, we could use three of these tools, right? We could use the ruler. That's one of the tools we could use. That's a measuring tool we could use to measure that length. We could use our meter stick to measure the length. Or we could even use our measuring tape to measure the length. Which one was the most efficient? The stick or even this? Why was, the, why was this so tricky and awkward for Ms. Baker? Why was this so hard? Yeah, it was really hard to line it up and to see where you stopped and to hold that ribbon in place. It was very tricky. It was not efficient. That took me quite a bit of time. And if something was longer than that, it would take me even more time to do that. Luckily, this one was only 90 centimeters long. Now, can we think about when it might be more handy dandy to measure something with a meter stick or the ruler. Because sometimes, some things are great to use a ruler for. So let's see here, meter stick or ruler. Now I've got some objects that I want us to think about, okay? I've Some of them are nice and long, some of them are nice and tall, some of them are, are straight up and down. Some of them are kind of like my ribbon, okay? So we know that the ribbon is gonna go over here because it was longer than the ruler, right? And it was flimsy, so it was kind of hard to measure. Let's take a peek at some other things we might measure. Think about a pencil that you have in your hand while you're doing your writing. Would that pencil be better measured using a meter stick? Gosh, that seems kind of overkill, right? Or would it be better to be using a ruler to measure this pencil? If you think meter stick, raise your hand. If you think ruler, raise your hand. Ah, I agree. I think a ruler would be a much better use for this pencil. Let's tape this picture up here. You guys can also make this T-chart if you like. There's our pencil. Ready for the next one? And I'm not talking about the height of this little guy. I'm thinking about your height. If we were gonna measure you, you beautiful second grade self, would we measure you using this tool or using this tool? Which one do you think we should use? Hmm, if you think ruler, raise your hand. If you think meter stick, raise your hand. Ah, I agree. If you said meter stick, wiggle waggle. Yes, we wanna use that meter stick to measure the height of somebody, okay? This would be a much better use of this tool to measure you than this little, uh, this little guy. It would take a lot of these to measure how tall you are. 
Ready for the next one? What about a hot dog? You go to lunch and the cafeteria ladies give you a hot dog. Are you gonna measure your hot dog with this guy? Well, let me pull out my yard or my meter stick. Or do you think you'd rather measure it with your ruler? Write it in your board, write it on your T-chart. Hot dog, ruler or meter stick? Oh, I'm seeing lots of rulers. If you agree with that ruler, wiggle waggle. I think most hot dogs are a ruler worthy measuring, measuring object. And even a foot long hot dog would be perfect, right? A foot long hot dog is about the length of his foot. Never not our foot and our foot on our on the bottom of our leg, but the about but twelve inches in length or thirty centimeters. Ready for another one? How about a book? Thinking about your notebook, your math notebook, or a book that you're reading at home. Meter stick or ruler. Oh, I'm seeing lots of rulers, you agree? I would hope so. I don't think we have very many books that are this length of this. And I don't think we have very many books that are any bigger than this foot. Do you? No. One more. A jump rope. Think about the jump ropes you might be getting for jump rope for heart if you're doing that. Ooh, I think about my ribbon and I think I can't imagine. My, my jump rope's probably about twice as long as this would be. What are we gonna use to measure our jump rope? Are we gonna use a ruler? Or are we gonna use this meter stick? Jump rope. I bet you guys can write those sounds. Jump rope. Aha. Uh -huh. If you put it under meter stick, raise your hand. Very good. We would wanna use that meter stick to measure that jump rope. It's gonna be much longer than a ruler can measure. It's gonna be tricky, much like Ms. Baker was trying to measure this with that ruler. Can you imagine trying to measure a jump rope? Whew. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I wanna show you another form of a tape measure that you might see. In fact, this is, these are ones that I actually have tucked away in my classroom. They are measuring tapes, they're not in a, they're not in one of these little holders. Um, Mr. Baker has a big one of these that he uses at a when he's doing things around the house and measuring things. Um, this would not be a good use. I put this in my purse to measure things. Like if I'm trying to buy something for just a small space, I bring this with me to measure that and make sure it's gonna fit. But when I'm measuring fabric or I'm measuring something to sew, I break out this measuring tape. So measuring tape looks different depending on what the use is. Mr. Baker would never use this when he's measuring um, in the garage for something, okay? And I wouldn't use this if I was going to go to the store and I wanted to measure something because I want it to go back in this nice little contraption. I don't wanna be carrying this big old long thing around. But if I'm at my house, this is a great tool. Still starts with our zero, and that's actually where this little this little metal part is. And it stretches all the way, and you can see it measuring to this 60 inches. But you can also see, if I go on this side, it's go, you're going to see it in, there's my pinky, centimeters. And it measures, look at that, the way that it's measuring. And if I kept going, whoop, whoop, whoop it stops at 150. So it goes even farther than this little guy does. So this is another example of a um, measuring tape that you might see. You, some of them are big, some are small. Some get wrapped up back into a little container like the one I showed you a little bit ago. And some you gotta fold up and keep all wrapped up and tucked away. Depending on what you want to use it for, you get some. You might get some different ones or use some different kinds. You can't always take a big meter stick with you, right? So this is a more trans. You can transport this one around, or even transport these around a little bit easier. Now, friends, 
my exit ticket for you today is if I have to go to the store and I am measuring something huge, okay? In fact, I've got to measure a couch for my front porch. A couch that fits multiple people. I want you to tell me, which should I bring with me? A ruler. Or my measuring tape. You're going to write which I should bring, which tool, which measuring tool I should bring with me. My meter stick, my ruler, or my measuring tape. Which one would be the best one for me to take to the store with me to measure a couch for my front porch so I can sit on it when the weather gets nice? Which one should I bring? And I want you to tell me why, how you know. Why is that the best tool to measure the length of this couch that I'm looking at. Don't forget, you're telling me which tool to use and why that's the best tool to bring with. That's your exit ticket. And then you're gonna have a chance to practice measuring and looking at objects being measured in your workbooks today. Happy measuring.